crazy world? You've arrived at that's a pretty crazy idea. And me, I'm John. Okay, this is one of the coil pack leads. Yeah, the signal's coming everywhere. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways. So. That was the coil pack lead, or one of them. Let's just try another pin, see if it's doing the same thing. firing up everywhere okay there we go that's enough gotta take this off now and clean up the uh, ground for the uh, this is the ground for the computer so I'll clean all that up um, I'll have to go to a speed shop and pick up something to do this with because you can't buy this without buying the whole wiring harness from Honda. So I think that will sort my problem. Let me hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is the bracket that holds that part on with. And you gotta sort of get the underside of it because there's a lift connector right there. So I ended up taking the whole bracket off. Probably if you're a mechanic, you know enough to just pull that down and then pull it out. Not that easy though, so. Uh, after that, I can get to this, this, and this clip, and hopefully I can detach the actual where the wires come in from this part of the body and see if I can just clean it all up and maybe make it work again. Well, I got this off. And isn't this an interesting looking little thing? So, yeah, I just gotta try and figure out what the heck's going on that's making it go wrong all over the place. It's come off pretty easy. It's just uh, stick a screwdriver, pick up one side, stick the same screwdriver and the other side, pick it up and it comes out. But why is it jumping? It's gotta be something inside here. And since you can't buy that, that means I gotta go to a speed shop and find a replacement. There we go, let's go on. Okay, so now that we got some quiet, so we got the line tracer on. And you can hear that it's going in through the line. And it comes out over here. And it comes out. Oh, it's not making a noise now. There it is. Okay. But what was interesting, I've got the battery terminal taken off. So it's got no electricity in it. But look at this. Oh, now it's not going to do it. <laughs> A minute ago, it had lots of activity. Yeah. Now, there's no line, there's no noise coming from this. But then, whenever we go around this area, the light's flashing. But if you come up here, there's no noise, no lights, no nothing. Let's see if I can get it a bit better here.
Yeah, it's just that little bit of flashing coming off of here. We got a feeling the, the break in the wiring is going to be right in here. This area here. You still can't hear anything coming from that line. Just coming through here. You can hear it here. You can hear it there. It goes, it goes away there. But this was most unusual to see this all lighting up, which I was not expecting. Still have not got the battery hooked up, and yet I turned this I turned the uh, sensor way up, and now you can see how much activity there is in here. <laughs> That's amazing. I think it should all be coming in through here. Okay, let's solve the first part of my electrical problems. Um, this must be from another Honda because on the fit you have to have these five as one unit and then these seven as another unit these ones are ground and these distribute the 12 volts for the spark plugs for the spark plug coil packs and so the brake should be over here I think what happened was they just grabbed from another Honda and that Honda was reversed to what the fit is and they had the five over here and not over here and they just plopped it in which created all kinds of problems because what was happening is one of these two pins is the uh, crankshaft sensor ground pin so what we're having is 12 volt was coming in here and it was going into the, the ground pin of the 12 volt crank sensor and it was buggering a lot of stuff up now this is the first part of the process and I'm not sure what will be showing up after I get this one fixed okay the way I'm cutting through this is just with my Dremel and then I'm just going to solder these two together because we still need the crankshaft sensor to hit the ground so that's what I'll be doing well this was a bit delicate I first off tried using just a wire really tiny threads didn't work so I ended up uh, using house wire keeping the pins where they're supposed to be I don't know how I what I've done here yet uh, let's take a look. Oh yeah, they look good. That's the hardest part. So now I'm just going to zip that with my Dremel. And uh, I'm not going to try cutting it just in case I break the, uh, break the solder. There it is. Let's see if we get it in focus here. Yeah. Uh. 